everybody needs to have this build in their arsenal. Boy, if you don't get this right here is my two-way stretch playmaker. And I know a lot of y'all just want to see the attributes and dip and you don't want to see the highlights or hear the explanation. So I'm going to put a timestamp in the description of where the full attributes will be in the video. All I ask is that y'all leave a like on the video. Do it for your boy. And uh, without further ado, man, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start here at the custom template. And we're going to start at position, power forward, height 6'7", weight 234 pounds, and a 7'4", wingspan. The highlights you guys are seeing, I took this build to no squats in the theater so you guys can see how well it plays with randoms. Now let's first talk about the finishing attributes. Now I know the finishing on this build, it doesn't look the best, but I'm telling you it's enough. 50 driving dunk, you get some dunk packages, but the real cherry on top is that 73 standing dunk. You get fast twitch and rise up on bronze. So you could pick a roll, cut, back door on this build, you'll still be able to finish. And if you don't like this, I'll show you guys two alternate builds with higher finishing towards the end. Now let's move on to the shooting attributes. I put an 87 mid range specifically for the Tracy McGrady base and your three ball has to at least be a 78 to keep the stretch playmaker name. Now if you don't care for the T-Mac base, you can put your mid range to 86. There's no difference in badges or anything from 86 to 87 mid range. I just prefer the T-Mac base, in my opinion, one of the best bases to use in this game. But as you guys can see, you can shoot real well with this build. Now let me show you it's playmaking. You have an 80 pass accuracy, 85 ball handle, and 75 speed with ball. Now you can't lower the pass accuracy below 80 or you'll get a different name. 85 ball handle gets you like 90% of all the dribble sigs, and 75 speed with ball gets you all the dribble styles that you need, especially the pro and LeBron dribble style. Now I know they just released Devin Booker's dribble style, so if you want his, I can show you guys towards the end an alternate version of this build where you can get Devin Booker's dribble style. Now time for the defense. 88 interior defense is a must for this build. You get gold post lockdown. A lot of bigs are going to think they can bully you since you're 6 foot 7. So this is a must. It's how you get the two way name. 87 perimeter defense for gold challenger in case you need to help on screens. I sacrifice steel. It's too expensive. 87 block for silver anchor and gold chase down artist. And the rebounding is more than enough. You get gold box out beast and silver rebound chaser. So as you guys can see this build does not last on defense lastly the physicals you have an 82 speed you need at least an 81 for silver speed booster so you could drop this to 81 if you want and spend the extra somewhere else that's completely up to you 73 acceleration for silver blow by and you have a 90 strength which is a must since you're a small big you get gold brick wall if you need to set screens this also ties in with your box outs you get hall of fame physical handles gold immovable enforcer so you can play this as a true big 80 vertical helps with rebounding and you get gold chase down artists and you have a 99 stamina now stick around because next i'm going to show you guys the full attributes of the build and the kind of tweaks that you can make and show you alternate versions of this build to better fit your playstyle. Now here is the complete attributes of the build. Now keep in mind, when I made this, I catered it towards playing more as a big. The playmaking is just a bailout in case I ever need to handle the ball. But my initial intent is to play this build as a big, cause most of the time, I'll be playing with a guard that will handle the ball. So obviously, you don't have to make it exactly like this, tweak it to how you want, and now let me show you some alternate versions that you might want to consider. Alright, the first one here is if you care about driving dunk. This version you get a 75 driving dunk enough to get all of these finishing badges and you get a lot of cheesy dunk packages. The downside, you only have an 85 perimeter defense so you don't get gold challenger. Your block lowers to 78 so you only have bronze anchor and your vertical goes down to a 75 so you only have silver chase down artist. Alternate version number 2, you drop the vert to 75 and put standing dunk to 90 and you get all these finishing badges on gold and silver. Now if you want gold fast twitch, you could lower your perimeter defense down to 85, put that standing dunk to 92 for that gold fast twitch, and put the rest of the stats wherever else like free throw, doesn't really matter. Either way, you can't really go wrong, the build will probably still play the same. Now the last alternate version, you lower your perimeter defense to 85 and put your speed with ball to 80 for Devin Booker's dribble style. We all know speed with ball is more important this year, and honestly Devin Booker's dribble style seems to be the best one for taller guards. Obviously you can sacrifice something else, but this way the build feels more well-rounded because you still get to keep the 90 standing dunk. So if you need a build that has to do it all for the whole team, whether you're playing with randoms or friends in real life and you always have to do everything, this is the build for you. You cannot go wrong making this build. Anyways, man, as always, I hope you enjoyed your time here. You already know what to do. 
like subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you guys never miss a future video man i got more coming for 2k24 y'all don't want to miss thanks for watching i'll catch y'all next time i'm out previously on ready to die Just slide through and get your back, bro.